And now to the very latest on the pandemic that continues to ravage the country. Pennsylvania is currently showing signs of troubling numbers, and today the state reported over 2,000 new cases. Action News' is Walter Perez here in studio with us with more on the concerning statistics here, Walter. That's right, Shari and Rick. Well, today's numbers are alarming. The worst part is that it's another example of Pennsylvania trending in the wrong direction over the past few weeks. That's why health officials agree the second wave of COVID-19 is well underway. Pennsylvania has now recorded its 28th straight day with at least 1,000 new cases of COVID-19. And over the past week, there were five days with more than 2,000 newly confirmed cases. Not surprisingly, there's also been a rise in hospitalizations. According to the Action News data journalism team, there were 465 Pennsylvanians hospitalized with coronavirus on October 1st. As of this morning, November 2nd, there were at least 1,267 people in the state hospitalized with COVID. That's why today, Health Commissioner Dr. Rachel Levine once again stressed the urgency of everyone doing their part to contain the pandemic, citing recent information that indicates why the numbers are spiking. Another data point that we are closely monitoring is the number of people who have reported going to a business or a large gathering 14 days prior to the onset of symptoms. Dr. Levine says the silver lining is that while the number of fatalities has increased as well over the past month, it's nowhere near the death rate from the early days of the pandemic, when at one point the state was confirming more than 100 fatalities a day. Levine says there are several reasons why. Our medical care is much better. Um, our intensive care is better. We have therapeutics such as uh, remdesivir and dexamethasone and other possible therapeutics. The overarching concern is that the public adopts a false sense of security at the worst possible time. As the increases continue in the fall, um, as the weather now is colder and people are more indoors, we could see challenges to our health care system. And so that is why we all need to work together. And Pennsylvania is certainly not alone. Officials from New Jersey reporting 1,379 new cases over the past 24 hours. That marks the Garden State's 16th consecutive day of more than 1,000 new cases. Rick. All right, Walter, thank you.